Good morning, we love Ferris and Edmonds. I am here in uh, Colford School, uh, beautiful grounds, uh, with Emma. Emma, tell me what's going on here today. So we have an engineering experience, residential course for students here. Um, we've got a number of local schools represented um, and we've got around 40 students that have come to, uh, to experience engineering in, in a real life course setting. So we've got a couple of projects going on, um, one supported by Tallers who have supported us with this glider project that's happening in the background yeah. um, and then small piece of run a, a boat uh, challenge for the students as well. So it's all about getting them involved in real life experiences, projects, teamwork and everything to give them an example. And I see it in the background we've got uh, little little planes popping off here. Now what is this all about? Yes, yeah, so it's all about giving the students a chance to, to have a real good go at an engineering project and challenge themselves. So we've divided them into teams. None of them know each other so it's all about getting to know each other, team building, um, tackling an engineering project um, and really making the most of a budget. Um, of course, that's uh, always good, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to have a real go. Um, I saw one of these, when these little, little planes go off and it went an awful long way and some of them just fall short. Why is this? There's all sorts of engineering challenges that go into it, real <laughs> principles, um, lift and drag and, and the students have been trying to perfect their designs. Um, like a little Concorde that one is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really smart. It's a good <laughs> Let's one. hope it doesn't catch fire. I think I'll choose what sort of level of pressure they're going to apply and the angle of launch. Yeah, um, wow. There we go. Well, not didn't get the distance, but uh, <laughs> that's to do with the weight, isn't it, I believe? Yeah, where the yeah. weight's distributed makes a real difference. Um, but also the angle of launch, which, which really sets them off at a different angle. The angle of launch, of course, yes. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Well, we've got some more bits to talk about as well, so we'll go and see some of those. Sounds so, good. Ella, uh, I've got uh, Elizabeth, James, uh, Thomas and Chloe. Hi, guys. Uh, hi. So, tell me, what interests you about today? Jane, Thomas. Um, so today has been really interesting because we've been testing all the products we've spent the last well, day um, making. So we put a lot of hours in yesterday building and working through prototypes to make the final product. And Are you the guy that did the really good one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah clock that, yeah. That was wow. Yeah, it was really exciting to actually see it in action because obviously that big one we'd never put in water because we simply didn't have enough water for it. So it was really good to actually see it in its element then. Working. Oh, this is working another project, expected. isn't it? This is the water project. Yeah, this is the boat one. Oh, right. So I was looking at the, the one with the, the little planes. Oh, yeah, with the rockets, yeah. Yeah, yeah the so we were split rockets. half and sort of half did rockets, half did boats. Yeah. yeah. And I did boat. Did we all do boat? We did boat. Yeah, we did boat. Yeah. I did a plane. You did a plane, yeah, yeah. And how was yours? Oh, rock, actually. Um, it was really good. We went through a lot of prototypes. Yeah? And how many? <laughs> I think we went through around six, but we've only like put down four in our presentation and our sheets because those were the only ones we actually had that weren't like dismantled because oh, we had right. to keep the plastic tubes afterwards. <sighs> Recycling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, what have you been up to? Um, I worked with Ella and we made a boat project. Yeah. Um, uh, now, now, what was the boat project? Can you tell me about that? Um, we didn't really have a specific aim for the project. We were kind of given creative free reign, which was kind of the best part, because right. you, yeah. you got to design your own, there was no set structure to follow. So I thought it was really good to be able to design it fully. And then you had to make your initial design, which was out of craft foam, and then develop that design and make it out of a different material. And then from that second design, create your final design, which is the big one that we tested on the water. Wow. <laughs> now, I believe the, the aim of the, the thing was to get your, your craft from one side of the swimming pool to yeah, another side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone, made, no, no I don't one anyone managed that in the end, but we, uh, we had some races and uh, everyone ended up getting a distance. Just, I don't think anyone reached the other side. Oh. It didn't go straight. <laughs> it wouldn't go straight? No. Engineering. <laughs> what were you involved with, James? Oh, with the boats, but... Um, I guess you could say ours worked, but it caught on fire. So the it caught on fire. Yeah, what are you running well, it on. <laughs> it was a propeller, but the propeller caught on fire, so we had to take it out. And then we missed the race, and then we come back in for our own little test again. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it was still a fire, so that's what that's the main point. Did you get it on video? Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'd like to see that, that'd be really good. Uh, um, I, yeah, I think it's on one of the teachers. Excellent, excellent. I have to talk to them. 
So, so you've come here. What, what has brought you here today? What, what has interested you about coming here on this, on this project today? Um, well, I'm really interested in Formula One, and like I, I'm taking like DT as a GCSE, and I think building stuff and making things work, I, it really interests me. And then when I found out about this opportunity, I was like, this is definitely the way I have to go. Oh, brilliant! You took all technical brains, haven't you? You want to know how things work. Yeah. 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 I was like that as a child. I took things apart. And that was how they stayed. <laughs> <laughs> they never got back together again. Well, great. Thank you ever so much for talking to me, guys. It's really appreciated. And you're having a great time. You're here for three days, and yeah. stopping over and stuff. And uh, and you didn't know each other before, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, we knew each other. Uh, oh, surprise what surprise. surprise! Oh, where are you from? Uh, Thurston. 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 Where are you from, Thurston. Thurston. Thurston as well. You're from Thurston. Culford. You didn't have to go very far, <laughs> did you? And you must be from Culford as well? No, Thurston. Thurston. Thurston as well. Oh, a lot of Thurston. Excellent. Yeah. Good up to Thurston. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are still at Culford School and you are? I'm David Youngman. David Youngman. David Youngman. What is going on? So uh, I'm uh, part of the William and Ellen Vinton Trust. And the William and Ellen Vinton Trust. Okay. So we, we were set up by the Vinton family uh, in 1982 to, to really help support um, students uh, in following a career in STEM, uh, as well as providing support to um, current and past employees of, of, of the Vinton organisations. You say STEM, just for those who don't know what STEM is? So science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Thank you. Yeah, so it's very much from that, that Vinton Trust thing. Everybody knows, everybody who's been in Bury a long time knows who Vinton's were, an engineering company. And you are a trust which is um, providing resources yeah, so, so and, and funding for these students. Uh, absolutely. So, so, so you know, we have a number of different activities uh, and support that we provide to our schools and to students. Um, and we've been very active with them over a number of years. Um, but this particular event, uh, we, we set up and started running in, in 2010 uh, with the Small Peace Trust. Uh, and it's been a really, really good way to actually help uh, introduce students to, to what a potential career in engineering could be. Um, and, and over the last 12 years, you know, we, we've, we've now had the best part of 300 students who've gone through this. Uh, many of whom, including Emma, who you spoke to earlier on, yeah. who was on the very first course that oh, we Oh, really? Had. Yeah. Uh, so, so Emma's now yeah, followed a career in engineering. Uh, uh, she's now very successful, uh, but she's now part of the trust and has come full circle to actually help run the course. Oh, right. That's brilliant, um, isn't it? That's, so that's, that was well-engineered, wasn't it? It, it was. Sorry, it, did you see what I did there? Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a really good example. And, and, and what we're very conscious of is, is that there are very, very few role models or examples uh, for, for a lot of students in terms of, of what a life in engineering could be. Uh, and those of us who are in the profession are very passionate about it and, and keen to try and help to... Uh, it gives them that understanding experience so, so they can have you know, it's an enjoyable career as we've had. So if we've got some youngsters who, who are watching or, or parents who know their youngsters are interested in these sort of things, how do they get in touch? So we, we have a, a, a Vinton Trust uh, website, uh, so I'll give you the link for that of a, course, a little yeah, bit later yeah, on. Absolutely. Um, uh, and also, but talk to the schools. You know, all of our local schools have got points of contact with the Trust. Uh, we're actively working with them to support STEM clubs, um, uh, big STEM projects, uh, as well as this event. Uh, and uh, I guess one thing to, to reach out and mention to you is that you know, we, we offer sponsorship to one student from each of the local uh, secondary schools every year whilst they're at university. Wow, so, so, that's, so, that's, that's very much worth it, isn't it? So, so that, that, that's a fairly significant bursary that, that we provide to them throughout the whole of their uh, degree course. Um, but we also provide support to apprentices, uh, so, so we're looking at trying to, to help everybody who wants to go into a, a career into, into engineering in particular. Brilliant, that's awesome, especially for people with those technical brains, which I haven't got one. <laughs> so so, so I, I have one request really for, for, for the people watching, um, and that's that um, we're really looking for, for local companies who are able to offer work experience to, to the students. So, yeah, if, if anybody out there uh, has got contacts or is able to, to support the students, please get in contact with us um, and we'll look to try and uh, connect you up. Awesome. I will send it round in my next newsletter. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
you're Matt, I can see by your label, and you are from the Small Peace Trust. Small and, Trust, yeah. And I'm looking at your, your top there, and um, there's a problem there, isn't there? Yes, we do get this a lot, so we're spelled incorrectly. We're named after um, an old engineer called Cosmic Small Peace. Right. Um, Cosmic Small Peace, who was a fantastic engineer and created our charity. Um, but his parents spelled his name on the birth certificate. And then I would change the back. So now we are incorrectly spelt. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's, that works for me. And it's dare to imagine. Now, you, you, what is your, your goal here today? What is your, your function here today? So our goal here today and throughout everything that we do is to obviously get uh, young engineers, like all the ones that we've got, interested in two STEM careers. Not just to learn into engineering. So obviously we do these courses to give them a little bit of hands-on activities. We also go to schools. Um, so we get 60 students that are just of all abilities that may be not interested in STEM and hopefully get them engaged, intrigued and looking into their career paths and educational pathways to get to their place. Brilliant. And you've got people from all schools, have you? Yeah, so uh, this course is all around this area, if I'm correct. Um, so it's all schools around this area, so some of them know each other. Um, but yeah, we go around the country and do things like this all over. Brilliant, brilliant. And that is your job? That is my job. Isn't what it? a great job. I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. The students is fantastic. These students have been absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, and really most cool. of them didn't know each other before, apart from if they came from the same school, they, obviously. They maybe knew of each other, um, but you could definitely tell the first night when they were having dinner, absolute silence. Uh. Um, they really know each other, but then we were just having breakfast before, and it was the noisiest breakfast we've had all week. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to see them engaging with each other and actually make long life friends after this as well. That's awesome. That's, and, and it's just like a three day project that you've got just going on. Just three day project. Yeah. Um, they can carry on and do more stuff after this um, throughout the course and that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is just a sort of three day project. Awesome. Thank you very much, Matt. Brilliant.